So today I have for you an anxiety tag. Woo! Um, so pretty much I just found a tag online about, you know, questions about how you how anxiety is for you, how you deal with it, all that fun jazz. So I thought I would share it with everybody. Um, and I also thought that if any of you out there are suffering from anxiety like I do, then you have a friend. We we can help each other. Be fantastic. So, I found this tag from Secrets of Beauty 13 on WordPress. So, thank you. And let's begin. Number one, how long have you suffered with anxiety? Um, I'd say probably about four years now. Um, I used to have panic attacks when I was in sixth grade, but I didn't really know it as anxiety until my freshman year of college. How did you deal with it at first? Um, I just kept it all in. I figured, oh, I'm just worrying about crap, so why should anybody know about it? And probably everybody else worries about it already anyway, so I just kept it all in. Um, and that progressively got worse and worse over the years. Um, to where it would cause anxiety attacks, panic attacks, um, even some self-harm, I'll admit that, but I won't get any farther than that. Um, did you tell someone? At first, I only told one person, he's a really good friend of mine, and I only said things like, you know, oh, maybe I'm just worrying too much about things, maybe this isn't anxiety, maybe I'm just crazy. Um, my junior year of college, I really started looking into it because I started noticing that, hey, generalized anxiety disorder sounds like me. But, I just couldn't picture myself as having it. But, um, yeah. I did tell him, otherwise I really didn't tell anybody else until probably my junior year of college. So yeah. Number four, do, do you get panic attacks? Yes, I do. Um, they're not as frequent now as they used to be. Um, I got put on anxiety medications. So that's been helping my panic attacks some, so um, I'll go from having three per week or so to maybe one every week, every couple weeks, something like that. If it's more stressful times, it might be twice a week, so yeah, I do have panic attacks. Are there any situations in particular where you feel more anxious or panicky? Uh, definitely school. Um, right now, I am studying to get my bachelor's in biology and go to bed school. Um, just getting my undergrad is extremely stressful for me. Um, biology is a really hard course. You have a bunch of like really big sciences like, you know, you have biology and chemistry, but there's also organic chemistry, biochemistry, physics, neuroscience, microbiology. There's so much to it. And it puts a lot of stress on you. And I, constantly am anxious over school because I feel like I have to have everything perfect that I can't fail at anything if I fail one test it means I failed everything so schools are really really big one for me um probably another one's crowds I'm really weird about being in crowds I feel like I can't be in them because I feel like I can't escape from them but I guess those are the main things I could think of is crowds and school. Let's see. Do you find it hard to talk with someone about your anxiety? Uh, it depends on who I'm talking to. Um, if I'm talking to any really, really close friends, or even my best friends, or my school counselor or therapist, everything is fine. I can talk to them about it. But if it's someone who maybe I'm just acquaintances with, that... Um, they've noticed I've gotten really anxious and I kind of explained to them kind of in a nutshell about my anxiety but I find it really awkward and I also find it really awkward if I ever have to explain anything to any students that I tutor because at my college I work as a tutor um, and a lot of it has to do with this tattoo if you can see it there you go um, it's partially for the semicolon project, and it's also because with my anxiety, I gotta learn to let things go. 
So it's really hard if any students that I work with see that tattoo and are like, oh, why do you have it? Oh, is it for Frozen? Which I do like Frozen, by the way. Um, but no, it isn't for Frozen. All I tell them is the semicolon project, but I really don't delve into why I have let it go specifically. And usually they don't question it. But yeah, usually strangers or people I barely know, I find it really weird to talk to them about my anxiety. Um, do any of your friends or family suffer with anxiety and panic attacks? Yes, actually, my mom suffers with anxiety and panic attacks. Um, I actually have a lot of friends that have come up and told me that they have anxiety, they get panic attacks. Um, I've got one friend with social anxiety, I've got another with just, I think hers is social anxiety too. A lot of my friends have social anxiety actually. I really haven't met any that have generalized anxiety like I do, but yeah, I've actually had a lot more people come to me and tell me that they have anxiety. And that's always a surprise to me because, I don't know, it just surprises me. Let's see. Is there anything you do to feel less anxious or panicky? Um, there is some stuff that I'll do, some healthy, some not so healthy, I'll admit that. Um, for healthy things, <laughs> I do deep breathing. I usually will inhale for five seconds and then hold my breath for five seconds and then exhale for five seconds and hold my breath for five seconds. And I kind of have to like make a beat to go along with it to remind myself not to go too fast or too slow. And for some reason, focusing on the inhaling and exhaling, as well as keeping that time, helps to bring my anxiety much better. Back down. There we go. <laughs> uh, I'm not good with words. Um, other things I'll do, I'll... Like, if it's really getting bad, I'll hide under a blanket, cuddle with a stuffed animal, particularly big ones, like this one. This is my Picasso named Marilyn Manson. Isn't she cute? Um, I'll also try to color on coloring sheets. Um, there's these ones you can find online that have like all sorts of cool patterns and designs on it. My school counselor usually prints them out for me. And she gets me lots of turtles because I love turtles. I like turtles. <laughs> um, some unhealthy ways that I deal with it is um, scratching mainly. I'll do that. I don't know if you can see that very well, but just scratching my thumb, and if it's worse enough, it could go into a self-harm episode, which I won't go into detail with that because that's triggering for people, but let's just say it's not very severe. Like, I don't cut. We'll put it that way, but I won't go any farther than that. Um, what advice would you give someone who suffers with anxiety or panic attacks? Um... Breathe. Breathing is your friend. Oxygen is your friend. Um, I'd also tell them that, you know, if you're not seeing a therapist or a counselor, do try to talk to somebody because that can help you so much. Um, I've always been afraid to talk to somebody, like, professionally, because my very first therapist experience was when I was 14 years old, and it ended up with me in a mental hospital. So, I don't trust medical psychology professionals but this past summer I actually got to meet with um, a therapist that sees one of my best friends and he is the best person on earth um, otherwise this sounds really weird and it probably sounds nowhere near helpful but I don't really know what to tell anybody with anxiety or panic attacks because the way I see it is I can't control myself. I can't figure out how to help me. So how can I help you? So my usual method is probably just distraction. Um, if you're feeling anxious about something. Oh, that reminds me of a story. I, a friend of mine had texted me saying that she's having a panic attack. And I rushed to where she was. I took her out. I took her to my dorm room. And I put on essential oils because... I like the smell of essential oils and made her color coloring sheet. It helped her calm down some, but not all the way, but I usually could just provide a distraction like, um, let's take you out of the situation, let's have you do something else and focus on something else. 
So, it upped her a little bit. Otherwise, I have no clue. Um, let's see. Do you feel embarrassed if you get a panic attack or anxiety attack in public? Um, no, not really. Usually if I have a panic attack or anxiety attack, um, anxiety attacks, I usually can stay where I am, but I don't let anybody know about it. Panic attacks, I'll go and hide in the bathroom, so people will just assume, hey, she had to go use the bathroom. So nobody really knows anything. I'll only feel embarrassed if anybody points out, hey, you've been getting out of class a lot, or, you know, is everything okay? You look like something's bothering you. If it looks like someone knows that something's going on, then I get embarrassed, but if no one can tell, I'm perfectly fine. So, yeah, that's about it for the anxiety tag. Thanks, guys, for listening in. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, want to talk, write down in the comments, direct message me. Um, you can also find me on Tumblr as pressing the panic button, Instagram as pressing the panic button, and on Pacifica if you get on there as egads or find panic button. And I'll leave links to the Tumblr and Instagram somewhere on this screen. We will figure it out later. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope that I was any sort of help to you. 